getting caught up in the moment that night. I am warning you, David. You've got to stay the hell away. Who do you think you're talking to, Deborah? Who the hell is Deborah? <laughs> David? David. The acting is so bad. Look. Oh my god. Okay, listen. Hello, this is Wanker Reviews, and today I'll be doing a video on Fatal Affair about a married woman who cheats on her husband with a co-worker that she knew from the past. She no longer wants anything to do with the co-worker because of guilt, and the man starts stalking her. I am not gonna bash this movie because I knew what I was getting into just by watching the trailer. If you've seen the movie Obsessed, The Perfect Guy, or Fatal Attraction, etc., etc., then you're very familiar with that genre and you already have seen this movie, even before watching it. You can see every so-called twist and turn. You can literally see everything coming beat for beat. But again, if you watch the trailer, you know what you're getting into, so you can't bash the movie for being a cliche. Although I did find it funny how this was almost identical to the perfect guy, there is even a scene that takes place in a club with the exact same color palette. They really didn't even try, and that's my biggest gripe with this. I don't mind a cliche as long as it's entertaining. Obsessed that came out in 2009 has a rewatch value because the characters are entertaining and the villain is exciting. Fatal Attraction is obviously a classic and has rewatch value. It has amazing performances and lots of thrills. The Perfect Guy came out in 2015, is my least favorite of the genre, but it's still interesting to watch simply because the actors actually look like they give a damn about telling a good story. The actors in this movie, Fatal Affair, look like they're sleepwalking the entire time. They must have been desperate for a paycheck because none of the leads look like they even wanted to be here. Neil Long, who I usually like, she's not my favorite actress, but she's always been decent in everything that I've seen her in. She looked like she was struggling to stay awake. Omar Epps is a great actor. I recently saw him in the movie Juice that came out in the early 90s and his acting was so lackluster. His character is terribly written and feels very shallow. He's a shell of a character that was better developed in other films. He's boring, and that's the issue with this. If the villain is boring, then the movie is dull because the whole movie is surrounded by the villain. And Nia Long is flat because she can barely move her face from all the Botox that she didn't need. So yeah, if the two leads are clearly not interested in what's going on, then why should the audience? So yeah, there's really not much to say about this. This was just a waste of time. It was soulless and no one who was a part of this movie in any way cared. They literally just threw this film together and dumped it on Netflix. And there's really nothing I can't stand more than a movie that doesn't care, that's boring and soulless and no heart or even some mind, mindless fun. Like you can still make a decent cliche movie and put some fun into your script. Give your characters some personality. Instead, everyone here was lifeless. And for that, I don't recommend this movie at all. I think it's a complete waste of time. And I give it a two out of 10.